So, The Flash. Looks like this time. <laughs> How many times have we been there? Uh, the movie is actually going to be made. Uh, Ezra Miller will still be The Flash. And so there you go. Uh, he will be the third uh, superhero character to come out of the DCEU to get their own film. For first being Wonder Woman, and then, of course, Aquaman. And then now the flash uh all along and they had seriously pursued uh the uh flashpoint that's being uh the series that basically created the new 52 uh version of dc comics they did a while back and uh it was a spectacular success sales wise and then it crashed and burned because <laughs> it was all the gimmick and the excitement and the interest and curiosity about all the changes they've made uh, but it was much ado about nothing. There were some things that was a good idea, like I always appreciate having Superman being the first superhero. Apparently now, after Doomsday Clock, he's right back where they started. I just, I don't like that. I would have just go ahead and set it back to the multiverse, and Justice Society is another world. And you can, and they're free to tell those stories rather than locking them all in on the what. Yeah. But anyway, that's another story. So, uh, the idea of their movies adapting it, uh, and at the time this was, uh, early on, and it's like, well, why do it? But then after Justice League, uh, failed because they, uh, they released the wrong cut. <laughs> ah, well, we will never know for sure. Even when it gets released, it's still, yeah. Anyway, um, it, Flashpoint was looked at as a, possible uh and rather cool way of resetting their dc universe on film uh and the only problem there is is for the character in and of itself is the flash doesn't really get developed we get him his only bits of development is within the justice league movie instead of just giving him a movie that's just the flash and it tells his story uh there's a villain uh, he defeats the villain, what have you, and there you go. You're off to the races, and then you could do a Flashpoint movie because a lot, of, and really Flashpoint, certainly the Flash is the star of it uh, in, in, in the comic book series, but it's a Justice League story. It involves all of them and how uh, different and effective they are. But the interesting thing is, is that after Barry Allen is able to restore the timeline as best to his ability, the reader is very much aware that things are still changed. And that was the beginning uh, of the uh, New 52. At the time, they had no idea that uh, Dr. Manhattan was causing all of this. <laughs> that was a little after it all failed. And there was a bit of a Hail Mary pass with Rebirth. And it, it, that sort of worked. And there were better stories coming out of that. But I Doomsday Clock uh, really dropped the ball. There were some great moments in it. But ultimately... I think it failed. But nevertheless, uh, they are where they are, and that's another story again. But here we have, uh, after so many directors coming and going, uh, Andy Machete, from known for uh, the uh, It movies, uh, is coming in. It hadn't said a whole lot about it, but he did mention that, yes, this will be a take on Flashpoint. It's just not what you're thinking. So, or expecting, rather. Um well, uh, time travel has always been discussed as to what the story would be about. If certainly the, the tragic circumstances of the Flash with his father stuck in prison, wrongfully uh, jailed for the murder of the Flash's mother. When the Flash knows he didn't do it, he knows he really did it. And uh, that being the reverse Flash and it's all. And time travel, just by that in and of itself, with the reverse Flash being a villain from the future. It, 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 it obviously time travel would be an aspect of the Flash story. So it stands to reason they would do a movie like that. Uh, other descriptions of it that they were headed for a, a back to the future style story and probably by that meaning making it more light and funny. Uh, but Flashpoint is a very dark story, so I'm not sure how that would work out. But the interesting aspect of it for the whole overall DCEU is that, yes, it could reset it, if they wanted to recast the roles of Batman and Superman, they've already cast Robert Pattinson as Batman, but from all accounts, it looks like that has nothing to do with the world that uh, Ben Affleck's Batman existed in. It could have, you could have just said, this is, this is the younger Batman there. Or they had mentioned that it was going to be set in the nineties, but now it's looking more like from uh, scenes from the set uh, on Twitter and whatnot 
Uh, it's much later than that. So at best, it might be 10 years in the past, something like that. And at this point, uh, if we get away from uh, Justice League and Batman versus Superman, that's not a whole lot of years. So, and of course, with uh, uh, Commissioner Gordon being uh, played by a black actor, that alone tells you this is not the same Batman. So, I don't know how you would explain uh, a time warp, a uh, changing a, uh, uh, a white man into a black man. <laughs> Uh, especially when the actions are all about the Flash trying to save his mother. You know, you can say time warps change things and events happen. And uh, I don't know, somebody married someone else. And uh, so this is how you end up with someone else with the name and blah, blah, blah. Uh, some, to some instances, that's believable, but it's not to the point of where the time change is one particular person. Uh, you know, how would the chain reaction affect that much? You know, but that is the Flashpoint story where things change just because uh, Barry's mother survives instead of dying. And then, well, Superman gets captured by the government and kept up in a, in a, in a, in a laboratory somewhere. <laughs> Bruce Wayne dies as a child and his father becomes Batman. Um, you know, well, why would Barry's mother call, you know, so on and so forth. So yeah, I guess they could just say it for the hell of it and say that this is the new Batman. And the obvious thing would have been, that if you could have had bookends for the movie that uh, Barry Allen interacts with Bruce Wayne, played by Ben Affleck, and then by the end of the movie, uh, he's telling uh, Batman what happened. And then Batman, of course, said, well, is everything the way it's supposed to be? And uh, Barry Allen says, yeah, I, I believe so. And then Batman takes his mask off, and it's Robert Pattinson. That kind of thing you could do, and then there you go. That's all you got to do. It's very simple. And, oh, this is the new universe, and there's new people. Uh, that being said, they could also do the same with Henry Cavill. If they no longer want him to be Superman, they could recast him with someone else. Um, and so, and that's, and then they go forward with their new movies while uh, maintaining uh, Jason Momoa and uh, Gal Gadot, or Gal Gadot, however you pronounce her name. And so there you go. Um, but saying it's not what you expect, well, it could just be this time travel story uh, and maintaining the same plot of trying to save his mother, and that's about it. It doesn't involve all these other people, and it's a standalone movie. Uh, but then you see over here, <laughs> Jeffrey Dean Morgan uh, teased uh, his, he's wearing his comedian mask. Uh, he played the comedian in uh, the Zack Snyder's version of uh, Watchmen and uh, said, oh, uh, look into getting back into a mask or the mask or a mask, what have you. <laughs> uh, and so what does that mean? You know, he has a new role coming up or some a superhero role. And then uh, I believe it was the, the actor. I, I always mess up his name, but he's he played Deathstroke. He also uh, did hashtag uh, Flashpoint. And Deathstroke, of course, played a role in the comic book version of uh, Flashpoint, so maybe he could have appeared in something like this. But it, and then this comes about. Then there's this story with uh, Machete explaining uh, that yeah, Flashpoint uh, has to do with the plot of the film he's working on. So all of that coming at the same time uh, makes one wonder: Well, is there something to this? Would there be the Thomas Wayne Batman in this? Uh, time warped world that the flash would find himself in and uh work with to come with the, the solution but then this would also involve uh jason momoa and gal gadot uh because aquaman and wonder woman go to war with each other so atlantis versus uh the amazons and it's just thrown the world into chaos cyborg would be there as well as uh mainly the main superhero of the world trying to stop the war and everything and then, of course, Superman appears if he gets freed from his uh, prison, but he's uh, in a much frail uh, condition and doesn't quite understand what's going on. So uh, w how many of these people would you include? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. But um, with all these things happening at the same time, it, you know, it stirs the pot a little as to what that could be and how much, to what extent uh, these characters would be involved. But still, it's important to remember it's not the Flashpoint you're expecting. So it could just be a Flash movie that's called Flashpoint. And, uh, you know, that's about the extent of it. Uh, interestingly enough, yes, Zack Snyder uh, said, yeah, he was uh, developing a Flashpoint storyline. Now, of course, there was supposed to be some sort of time travel involved in his Justice League narrative. 
for future films. And maybe that's what he was referring to. And he said, it was better. <laughs> you know? uh, but um, beyond that, I don't really know what all that would have involved. But certainly uh, the Flash uh, time traveling, uh, that was certainly established with uh, Batman versus Superman. So anyway, a Flash movie is coming, but uh, and it will be about Flashpoint, but uh, that's about all we know. So, so it, it it does bear a notice. It is uh, intriguing, especially with the uh, with uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan's little little uh, uh, addition to all of this. But um, you, of course, with everything, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, so yeah, uh, w the Flash is a movie they should have done some time ago. They, a, a basic Flash movie, if they could have got that off the ground, I think that would have been better, and and then get to a Flashpoint. But I think. Um, if they're still going the route of Flashpoint resetting their DCEU, then um, then that's why they do it out of necessity for the condition they find themselves in. <laughs> Rather than uh, a story of building this character up uh, on his own so that these standalone films can build the characters and then you can do something like a Justice League or something like that. Um, but anyway... This is where they are. So maybe that's what this will be. It'll be a reboot of some sort. Some thought the Wonder Woman might be. There were some rumors about that, but it's looking more likely that's not the case. Uh, and so here we go with that. And uh, whether or not Pattinson's Batman fits into this, I'm dubious at this point. But a Flashpoint scenario, yeah, it might make that work. I, I don't know. So anyway, there you go. The Flash. Say. Thank you for watching and listening. Why not like and subscribe? And check out that link description below. That'll take you to my many stores that have plenty of goodies for you. And please check out my comic book, Night Night, or Red Indie Planet. Yes, you can enjoy the adventures of Night Night while actually seeing him rather than the audio plays that I produce uh, that it is based on. Yes, so now you can finally see Night Night in action you can also listen to my podcast mr nelson show on radiomisfits.com and you can also watch my videos over at bitshoot.com that's the mr nelson channel on bitshoot.com